Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Genuine Teaching and today we're talking all about sub plans. So today I'm talking about those plans that you need to make when you wake up in the middle of the night or worse, when you wake up and you're expecting to go to work and you have a fever or you're feeling nauseous. It's just not a good situation and there is no way that you can come to school, like not even putting on a movie and just forcing yourself through the day is gonna help you. So this is where emergency sub plans come in. Now, there is a good time to make sub plans and a bad time to make sub plans. Let's just imagine you're in that situation where you wake up in the morning, probably not the best time to be making sub plans. Now, if it's a planned absence, you can definitely make different lesson plans, and in most cases, I do, because I like to have my kids follow the same routine and basically the same scope and sequence as if I were still going to be here. Um, but these are not those plans. These are plans that you make that can be given in a moment's notice if you have to leave work early for some reason because you're sick or there's just an emergency that happens, these are those plans. I make sub plans super simple for both my students and the substitute. So I have this tub and it literally says sub tub. I just made this a long time ago on my Cricut and I printed it out on sticker paper. So inside you will see that it's labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And inside I have things for every single day. Now, why don't I just have a folder that is just one day of sub plans? Well, if you're sick or there's an emergency and you're out for more than a day, more than two days, you don't want to be like, yes, I got sub plans for one day, but I'm still sick and I have to come in anyways and make those plans. This gets rid of that situation. Also, I, for me personally, my Wednesdays are a completely different schedule than my Fridays. So I can have my team members just come into my room, pull out the Wednesday folder, and give it to the substitute. So like I said, I like to make sub plans easy for both my students and the substitute. So everything that I give are things that my students have done before. So I have, I'm just going to go through Monday because... Monday through Friday is the same exact plans, but just different versions of it. And I'll show you what I mean. So first, I have these sub plans that I got from Pocketful of Primary. And I literally go through like my procedures, um, what to do in case of a fire drill, just school procedures, my behavior management, and then I go into my plans for the day. And then in the back, I have them go ahead and write like, write down students that were helpful, students that you had to redirect, and just overall comments of the day. So that's what's in here. And I put one of these in every single folder. I don't have a sub binder because I feel like this is the information I put in the binder. And this is just so much easier for a sub to be able to look through this one packet of stuff. And if they're gonna be here a couple days, it stays the same, so they'll kind of get the routine. So, first thing is, when my students come in, and again, I tell, exact, I tell the sub exactly where they're even gonna pick up the students, but when the kids come in, they do their morning routine, which is they have 20 minutes to either work on unfinished work or read quietly and this is just a time for kids if they're late to kind of start trickling in this is time for the substitute to take attendance and this is just something that we do every single day so I just like them to keep that routine then for reading I normally do wonders for reading however if this is an emergency absence I'm I can't plan ahead to know what story we're gonna be on so I just don't do wonders when a sub is here if it's a planned absence then yes I will do wonders but I just take passages off of readworks.org and they go through their fluency routine they read it through once um, as a class and then they I have the substitute time them for a minute 
and they do that three times and then they take out highlighters and pencils and they are able to work on this with a partner and go back and highlight in the text and then I have the substitute go over the answers with them. So that takes about an hour and then it's time for specials. So they do bathroom break and then specials and then when they come in the kids do centers. It's the same exact centers as if I were here. The only center that changes is the computer center because I do not want students. Students aren't allowed to get the computers. We have to take them because we share them as a grade level team. We have to take them from the cart and charge them for them and the kids are not supposed to be handling them. So I just don't do computer center that day. So if they're computer center, they get this writing, creative writing. Um, this is from Learning in Wonderland and it just has a picture and they finish the picture and then write about it. So they absolutely love that. But like I said, the other kids are still doing read to self, writing and story grammar marker and those are centers that they do all the time. Then it's time for lunch and recess. And then after lunch and recess, I have the substitute pick one of the very best students, kind of like as an incentive, to choose a book from my library and they can do a read aloud with the class. Then I have them take a bathroom break and then they come in and they do math, which is just a color by product. So I just have multiplication in here. This is from the Moffat Girls and it's double-sided. This actually takes them quite a while. Um, so they find it fun because they're working on multiplication, which they need to work on anyways in third grade, but then they get to color by number. I've always had really good success with this. Sometimes the kids turn in their work. I don't require them to turn in their work when they're with the substitute, but sometimes they turn this in and they do an amazing job. Like they don't just rush through it or scribble or just use it as a coloring sheet. Like they literally solve the problems, show their work, and color it in. So that's a really great one, and my third graders love it. Then it's time for afternoon recess, and then afternoon recess, um, they're out there for 10, 15 minutes. Then when they come in, I allow another student to pick a book from the library just to kind of cool down um, and just do a read aloud. Then they can take the kids to get water. And then I give them, depending on how much time they have left, it could be anywhere between 15, maybe 30 minutes, but usually just like 15 minutes. I use it as a time for them to finish any work throughout the day, or they're more than welcome to finish any unfinished assignments that I've assigned. And then they pack up and dismiss, and that's the end of the day. And it's super easy. So like I said, I have a whole week's worth of plans ready. I don't usually use these that often because I'm never out for five days, but it's just great because one day I was gone on a Thursday and instead of being like, oh, tell them they go to this specials on this day or me sitting and writing, all I have to do is send an email to my office staff and a text to my teammates and be like, hey, I'm not coming in today. My emergency sub tub, um, pull out the Thursday folder and put it on my desk for the sub and it's good to go, which I absolutely love. So that's what I do. I find it super simple. If for some reason I'm sick and I use the plans, that next week that I'm back and I'm making lesson plans and prepping for that week, prepping for that next week, you know I'm restocking that random Thursday that I was sick in my sub plans because you don't want to be finding yourself in a bad situation where you're up super early in the morning or late at night writing sub plans or even worse, having to come in and make copies when you feel awful. So I will go ahead and put a link in the description to a blog post and it will show you everything that I have. If I have links to it, I will share it. And until next time, happy teaching. Bye guys.